There was a custody battle between the actress Mia Farrow and the director Woody Allen. And there was talk about this tape that Mia Farrow had done with her daughter. On the tape, the daughter talks about how Woody Allen touched her in an in inappropriate way. Well, that tape was dropped off right here at Fox 5 for me. Even to this day, when I see Woody Allen, I, I get a little nervous. So my first big break came when I graduated college in 1980. I went to what was called the Turner School of Broadcasting. I moved to Atlanta. Ted Turner was just starting CNN, and he was also making WTBS his super station, which was like, you know, big cable station. And I got a job doing Chiron for WTBS Evening News. And I was really, really awful at it. Uh, I screwed up the um, sports guy's scores every night because I had to put all the scores in and I never got them on the right line. It was a non-union shop and uh, in those days they kind of pushed you on to the next thing and my next push was researcher. And um, I, I loved it. I loved researching. Um, I loved working at a real startup. It was kind of gritty. And from there I went to field producer and then reporter. While I was in Atlanta, all I kept pining about was coming back to New York. I was out of work for a few months, and lo and behold, um, I got a phone call from Channel 5, which was Metro Media 5 at that time. It was St. Patty's Day, and they said a lot of people called in sick, did I want to work? And I was like, yes. Uh, and I searched my closet for something green and uh, started at Channel 5 as a freelancer and worked it into a full-time job. If we're all probably kicking themselves in the ass right now that they called in sick. I'm, 26 years later, I'm still here. My truly huge break in the business happened while I was uh, reporting for the 10 o'clock news on Fox 5. Someone dropped off a tape in my name um, that uh, was really big time news in this town. Uh, there was a custody battle between uh, the actress Mia Farrow and the director Woody Allen. And there was talk about this tape that Mia Farrow had done with her daughter. Uh, and in, on the tape, the daughter talks about how Woody Allen touched her in an in inappropriate way. Well, that tape was dropped off right here at Fox 5 for me. Knowing what you know now, do you think that you ever would have dated Woody Allen? Can you ask that question? Of course not. I went on TV and I paraphrased what I saw. Our report became not only local news, national news, but international news for a year. Everybody wanted me to come on their show, talk about what I saw. Woody Allen would openly discuss uh, his disdain for uh, my reporting. Um, and I would, you know, it's New York. I would run into Woody Allen and he would turn his face uh, when he saw me at a restaurant. Um, it was a turning point in my career. I think all of a sudden, uh, Fox 5 realized, oh, who's, who's this young girl from Brooklyn who's been reporting and covering, you know, the local crime, uh, the blood and guts uh, on the streets of New York? Oh, wait a second, she's got contacts. Everybody wants her. Uh, I think all of a sudden, they, they started to look at me in a different way. And um, I, I started anchoring on weekends and then filling in during the week. And my dream was always to be a full-time anchor. Uh, it didn't happen right away, but it definitely put me on the map and it made my bosses look at me in a different manner. And I think also, um, you know, friends of mine in the business at other stations were all of a sudden taking a look at the access that I had, the contacts that I had, and uh, I think I'm a little jealous because we were really the only station in town with that tape. And to this day, people ask me how we got the tape, and I won't say. Things have so changed since I started in the business. I mean, everybody would tell me to start off small, go somewhere and get your experience and then kind of work your way back. I think lots of people still do that. But now, I mean, there's all these great cable stations, New York One, Fios One, where you can kind of get your feet wet. Um, I think people who want to be an anchor woman don't want to do the real nitty gritty. You have to get out there and I think to know your community. Otherwise, you're just going to be a talking head on camera and it will be easy come, easy go. And those of us, I think, that stay in this business are the people who know the community and are still involved in the community, have their finger on the pulse, and give back.